It's the season for summer parties and entertaining, and to help you plan your next gathering, we've brought in a guy who has quite a title. He's known as the Ambassador of Entertaining. Porter Brooks is a celebrity chef and TV host who helps viewers create incredible parties in their homes, worry-free every time. Every time. His newest book, Parties and Celebrations, is filled with 12 months of menus inspiring party themes. I love that. Right? Welcome to the show. Nice Thanks. to have you here. Thanks for having me. I tell you, I love throwing a party, so I feel like you're a good guy to know here. What's your favorite party to throw? Uh, I like brunches. Yeah, we have a couple of great recipes in there. Well, I think today we're going to talk about grilling because we have the 4th of July right well, around the corner. Well, that's appropriate for summer, Red, white, right? Blue, right? <laughs> so easy summer entertaining ideas, and I'm going to do everything sliders, but here's one thing that we can start with. Okay. Buffalo blue chips. Buy a bag, put them in another bag, and you can you can crumble those oh, up. Oh, it's like a stress reliever. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> like if you get upset with the kids, or it's really it's a great thing for the kids to do. You can give them this in the kitchen. There you what go. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a bison slider. So this is one pound of bison buffalo, which is now readily available. And healthier than beef, healthier. right? Healthier. It's so lean, but you do want to have a little bit of fat in there, otherwise they get moist. So what I'm doing with this is I'm actually using crumbled blue cheese. Mm -hmm. It's my buffalo blue. Just think of that, that spicy uh, blue cheese. Buffalo wing, and then oh, we're I gonna put our starch. How did it go? I'm You're good. Good. There you no, go. We're good. <laughs> go like this. Go like this. So for our starch, we're actually using the, the potato chips. So it's almost as a little bit of a meatball effect. Oh, okay. Keep it together, right? Keep keep that together. The other great thing about this, mm -hmm. no salt needed. You have all the salt you're ever gonna need in that slider. I just like a little bit of black pepper. So you want to incorporate that fully. Okay. Now they have little slider presses. You can buy them that are little sets of six yes. and seven. But you really can just take two yogurt cups. Or I just like to make a little golf ball like that. Very, very simple. There you go. Pretty then easy. You squish it, and then we set it right on. I'm using an indoor grill. So if you don't have an outdoor grill, these fantastic. Don't worry, yeah, right? these, and you don't even need the cast iron. There are great new products out there that fire up beautifully. We've got a couple of them going. Now, what this is, is this is my grilled polenta. I'm actually going Ooh. to be putting this together. Like and a the, bun? The polenta is going to be our bun with our pulled pork that in That is there. a terrific idea. Just about idea. one second. But before we get started, yes. I made a roasted lemonade. I just want to How show you How does that work? Well, we roast our lemons and we come over mm -hmm. here with our sugar and our rosemary. Does it taste different with the yeah. roasted flavor? Yeah, oh, all good. the sugars come out in the, in the citrus and mm -hmm. it really rounds it out. It's a beautiful way to get things going. I love that. Hey, let's take a minute and talk about your book. Let's do. Uh, give us the rundown. You have themes for parties. You yeah. kind of tell us how to set it up, what to serve, how to do it, even the settings. Yeah. Yeah, it's really more than a party theme. It's the idea that it's all from a memory with me, and we've actually taken 12 of my most favorite episodes, most recent, mm -hmm. and we have an entire chapter in each one of them. So everything from what we call the set up, which is why do you want to throw the party? Who's it for? What's the essence of it? Sure. And how are you going to make it unique that you know your friends just think you're a rock star in the kitchen? I That's love that after. idea. That's great. Okay. Tell us about your show a little bit. Well, Entertaining People started on the West Coast in 2007, uh -huh. and it's, that's what we do. We throw parties live in real time every single time. You can find it at entertainingpeople.com. Now, let me move to my aioli. Sure. This is my fat-free aioli. Ooh. I'm using a fat-free Greek yo have yogurt. You fat-free aioli. And look how easy it comes. It comes with the honey right next to it. it I'm going to add that in there. One perfect thing. We're going to mix it up so okay. it's beautiful. The thing about an aioli has always been mayonnaise based. Well, you can go healthy with this, and this is so simple. Three salts a little seasoned salt, right? A little dark, I call that Mississippi mud, a little sea salt, and then a pinch of cumin. It's going to have this smoky, beautiful flavor, and we're going to actually put that on our buns before we put our sliders on. So I've got these great little slider buns. If you haven't found them, they're available in your store right now. And they come already made, little yep, tiny buns? Absolutely, little baby buns. Little so baby we'll do buns. One, one of each one of those. And I think our polenta is actually ready. Let me move over to yes, my you go mess ahead. kit right here. How great is this? These are my mess kits, right? I've been using <laughs> these for years. They're great little tins. Yeah. And we can actually hold them in the lap, and the paper plate does not fall apart all over your all you over your desk. You have a napkin connected to it. I How know. great we, is it? Everything needs to be to be one stop when you're entertaining. Okay, so I've got this here. I'm going to pull off my first slider. You can see, do you see the chips in there? Oh, yeah. That looks beautiful. We're going to lay that on there. And then what I have here, this is a pickled green tomato. So I grilled oh. them on our grill. We're going to top that on there. Just a little bit more aioli on this one. How are we doing on time? We're good. Keep we going. Are good. Keep making Keep sliders going. for us. <laughs> making the slider. And then we're going to top that. Now what I love to do is just let that sit over here and I'm going to get to work on my polenta. Again, I'm using sliced polenta. This is readily available in any store right now. Okay. It comes in a tube. And you slice it off. You want it to be a little bit thick because you want it to be sturdy like a bun. And I've got some more help from my Ooh. store. This is some store-made pulled pork. Why take the it's time? It's allowed to You're cheat a little, right? Well, it's, it's not. It's smart. It's not even it's, cheating. It's smart is what it is. Today's products are beautiful. So we're going to fill that with some pulled pork. 
Now to add to uh, this with a different element, I've roasted some fennel. So I'm going to put a little bit of fennel right on top of that slider. That's a nice combination. Yeah. I wouldn't have thought of. And then of course, of. with your asbestos hands, don't do that at home. I'm going to put that up there. And I love to always repeat the flavor so that people know what's inside. In this case, it's fennel. So I'm going to take an actual fennel frond, and I'm going to take it and I'm going to stab it in there as my toothpick. Great idea. If it goes in there, we're going to chop that off I a little like tighter. That. Hey, Porter, Beautiful. we have about a minute left. Good. Uh, I think it's great you travel with a toolbox. Yeah. It's not a traditional it's a great, toolbox. It's, no, yeah, we, we do that. <laughs> Let me show you how we're going to light this and, and how we're going to serve it. Okay. If we can. So we have our roasted lemonade. Yep. I'll set that down here. Also, the other thing I've done, which is quick and easy, is I've done a frozen peppered watermelons from the Mediterranean. You freeze Ooh. the cubes, you hit it with some black pepper and some olive oil. It is the most refreshing taste wow, you've great. ever had. Now, to make everything very special, I have what I call the little firefly catchers. Little recycled jars, throw them in your dishwasher and we pop a candle in there. Now, if you're outside and you need safety first, use these new little there votives. There you go. You pop it right in there. How pretty, you really think of everything, huh? It's got a tray, perfect and beautiful. I love it. Well, very good. And uh, where can we find more info on you, Porter? Entertainingpeople.com. All the recipes, the book, um, entertainingpeople.com. It's all there. Very good. Footage, yeah. Well, thanks for making lunch for us. You bet. Great to Everybody's have you here. Eat well. Thank sure you, Teresa. Are.